One of the big groups that's been out here today are some of the students from Robert E. Lee. And CBS 19's Peyton Whiteman spoke with a student athlete at Lee who said she is no longer going to be an athlete for them. I mean, it's still his name. Because the name of Lee is you. It's Everyone you. knows what it stands yeah. for. And yeah. having to wear that and having to say we run for this person is just... Unreasonable. It's been two years since the Tyler ISD school board tabled a motion about a name change for Robert E. Lee High School. I think they just did it to silence us again because I think they're tired of us pushing, but we're not going to stop until it happens. As the name change conversation has been brought back up amidst protest against racial discrimination, students are making their voices heard on social media. We definitely have a better, bigger student involvement this time than we did. Trudy Lamb, Haywan Knight, and Nuke Sun Knight are star cross country runners at Robert E. Lee High School. Trudy posted that she would no longer wear her school's name, instead crossing it out, and her friends and teammates are joining her. We won't wear the name. An Instagram account has even been created called We Won't Wear the Name. More students have already joined in this new protest and sent in pictures to be shared. But by staying quiet, you're forcing your opinion. It's you're saying you're okay with this. So if you're not really okay with this, then speak up. Yeah. It's time. It's past time. The students haven't been contacted by the school about their decision, but yeah, Trudy plans to read a statement to the board members during the meeting about not wearing the name. We've got you covered, Tyler Peyton Weidman, CBS 19.